السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ان ٹیز ویڈیو وی وو ہیئر انادر اپونے آف دا ٹرو اسلام اسلام احمدیت ٹیسٹیفائی ٹو دا ٹروتھ فنیس آف حضرت مرزا غلام احمد علیہ السلام آف قادیان ہو از دا لار ڈی مسایا اینڈ اے ماں مہدی ہو دا مسلمز آر ویٹنگ فور In this video we will hear the opponent praise the promised Messiah Al-Islam's life before he made his claim. According to the Holy Quran, we see that one of the greatest signs for the truthfulness of a prophet is his previous life. Before the prophet makes his claim, the society knows about their truthfulness. However, when they say that we are sent by Allah, the people begin to raise allegations. The same happened with the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. and this is one of the greatest signs for the truthfulness of a prophet from the holy quran it can be read in surah yunus verse 17 let us now hear the non ahmadi muslims testify to the truthfulness of hazrat mirza ghulam ahmad alayhi salam so uh, we see this person in mirza ghulam ahmad come up through the ranks in through imperial subcontinent days and we see him arise to whatever he is now what whatever you know uh dignity that he's been given from his followers and now his his masjids are all over the world now his his masjids are all over the world now his his masjids are all over the world and uh can you shed some light on this movement and help us understand how to um deal with this movement because right now it seems like they're they're propagating themselves as the true islam and that they are the representative body for muslims in america and the west so it starts again uh qadian is a a a, a small city in the uh, uh in what's now uh, called east punjab so the pre-partition punjab was whatever is between uh, delhi and and peshawar uh so the the village of qadian that he's from it, it was allotted to the indian portion of punjab in the uh, in the partition which happened after uh, after he uh, he left this world his followers still pray like salafis uh to this day and so what he did with his knowledge that he had is he became a debater uh, that was a time in which um there was a lot of uh, colonial uh, uh sponsored missionary work in the indian subcontinent and so he would debate with with basically with missionaries with christian missionaries and he was relatively successful in his debates and so he would debate with with basically with missionaries with christian missionaries and he was relatively successful in his debates and he was relatively successful in his debates and he was relatively successful in his debates and he became kind of a small time celebrity because of that Uh, and in the beginning actually the ulama had a lot of respect for him they thought okay he's doing something to uh, defend the deen and to uh, benefit the muslims uh, and in the beginning actually the ulama had a lot of respect for him they thought okay he's doing something to uh, defend the deen and to uh, benefit the muslims if you have not yet subscribed make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can get notifications for every new video also make sure to like and comment on the video and follow on twitter and instagram <laughs>